the one year anniversary, July the 8th, 2009, we started up early. We're kicking off the beginning of a great week. I think we're finally really getting this thing, getting a lot of momentum, we're getting on a roll. He's on, he's sharp. Love you, America. This is a special edition of Squat Box, Boone Pickens, one year after launching the Pickens plan. What's happened in a year? No other plane. Who do you think motivated our commitment to having you on, <laughs> other than Diane Sawyer? <laughs> true. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Can we break dependence on foreign oil? Finally, a progress report. Hi. Hi. Foreign oil. Uh, using it at the level we do is not good for our country and very dangerous for our security. Everything is working in the direction of my plan. We have not missed on a beat. I felt like I was the only guy that understood the problem and I was the only guy that had the solution and I was 80 years old and I had the money to go out and tell the story. It's almost inconceivable that we've not had an energy plan for 40 years. That is inconceivable, but I will have to say we're moving faster than we've ever gone. The bill that I'm following desperately is H.R. 1835, and that is the Natural Gas Act. That's the one that saves us from foreign oil. That was introduced six weeks ago by Congressman Larson Bourne and Sullivan. Had a, a great picture uh, today with the co-sponsors of 1835 on the steps at the Capitol. More and more supporters building for the legislation for our Nat, Nat Gas Act, and I think Boone's message is really coming through. Basically, he's been very visionary. He's been uh, he's been out there, and we certainly want to uh, provide him the support. As you can see here today, we got Democrats and we Republicans, bipartisan uh, support for his plan. Seventy percent of energy now comes from offshore. And we've got to become energy independent. And not only just our energy needs, but all the jobs we're transporting off the shores now, for that six or seven hundred billion dollars a year we're spending on imported energy, you know, we've got to do, do keep that at home to strengthen the economy locally. Now we have moved over to the Senate and today the Senate introduced their bill, which is called Senate Bill fourteen oh eight. And that is authored by Menendez from New Jersey and and Senator Hatch from Utah. Then that has the oversight of Senator Harry Reid, who is the majority leader. Well, anyway, that went extremely well today. We had the press conference for it. The room was packed, overflowing. We had plenty of press. Everything covered it. They're starting to see that 1408 and 1835 are going to join together. And if we can just maneuver that through, that's going to be the perfect bill. That does promote natural gas as a transportation fuel and that does solve my problem which is security for America and get us off of foreign oil. Bill extends for 10 years important tax credits to buy natural gas vehicles, build refueling infrastructure and for the use of natural gas as a fuel. Glenn Pickens has been a great leader in this area. He's been a bipartisan leader. I appreciate very much uh, both uh, Senator Hatch and Menendez making me a part of this event today because this is huge for me. I really feel like I am helping do something for this country and uh, we are going to get it done. After 1408 was announced, I had great rush of 10, 15 reporters that wanted to talk to me about the 1408 bill and natural gas and all. These will be the two biggest days for the Pickens plan and an energy bill that makes sense for America. And somebody said, but you've been at it a year, you haven't gotten anything done. The way I view it is, we've had one year and we've done everything. So we've got to get this bill passed. Woohoo! But this has moved faster than anything that I could ever imagine. So it's it's good. we got everybody on our side and it's working smooth. How are you doing, Hi. sir? Good. How are you doing? Good. Is this a baby? Yes, yes sir. I appreciate you doing that. I appreciate all of you being out here. Early on, you pointed out something that got the attention of everybody, and they were excited about it. We're doing everything we can. We're moving this thing. It is happening. I'll promise you what we're doing is for this country, and we are going to get it done. I mean, it is going to happen.
All right. Happy Independence Day to you. Good. Thanks, Ed. I really want to motivate the youth on this because I think, that, you know, that's one Well, thing. It, it really is your issue. Hi, I'm Nikki, and I'm 13 years old, <laughs> newest recruit in Pickens Plan. Today is Energy Independence Day, which hopefully will go down in history, uh, much like uh, Independence Day was celebrated earlier this week. Uh, is the day we finally decided to kick our addiction to foreign oil. And thanks to Boone's help, as well as the support of millions of uh, Army members across the country, I think we're actually making some forward progress. Quite a while ago, you know, I became interested in building wind turbines um, and getting us into alternative energy. Once I saw the Pickens plan and T. Boone really interested in in this um, project, um, you know, I said, well, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Happy we had a wind-up to the day with the interns in Congress, and that was a real nice session. They had to double the size of the room to get everybody in. These young people are with me. I asked them for their help. All of them knew what the Pickens plan was. This age group in America is going to have to carry this out. This plan is for our generation, and it's a plan that needs to be taken into action right now. My grandfather is a big part of that. They have that kind of saying where one person can't make a difference. Well, he proves that wrong. When we pass this legislation coming up, and I think it will come up after the August recess, that we are going to have then the direction for energy for the next 50 years for this country.